Leon Silvers would do all the instrumentation to all the parts that he could play, especially the drums and the bass parts, because he was a bass, he was a bass player and a drummer. This is in 1979. This is no in 1979. There were no drum man. machines. No. He would take a mallet and kneel down next to your kick his on his knees, and he would hit that. <laughs> and he'd do that for six minutes. <laughs> then, literally, just that's all you hear this song. Then he would go in the booth, and he'd listen. And if one beat was out of place, he'd tell her, engineer, stop, we got to do that again. <laughs> now, that is, this is the honest He did truth. that, and he did each part of the drums to the snare. As a drummer, you can relate. You understand he started with the bass. With the bass. He came up to the tom. To the snare, hi-hat, and so on. He put yeah. down each part like that. That's exactly then he's sitting there with his bass. He was a bass player. And he played that bass until it all locked. It had to lock. Here's what he did to play it. <laughs> That's right. You know, and if, if it's something going over that, something wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but to make a long story short, now here we come. He gets through all this. I'm watching this because it's fascinating. I'm standing there with him 13, 14 hours watching him go through this process because it's fascinating to watch somebody work like this. Now it comes our turn. <laughs> all right. So he, once again, Start he's very meticulous. He knows exactly what he wants. So we're in there, Scotty. Uh, now, uh, you've gotten an idea of the uh, different personalities up here. <laughs> Scotty's personality, and especially then, he had a temper like no. that. <laughs> patience. His patience was like that. <laughs> Scotty was like that. <laughs> Period. <laughs> but at any rate, what made this so beautiful was Leon's trying with all his heart to get Scotty. We're doing this background. And there's also a lead run that Scotty, that he wanted Scotty to do over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it's like a it's not even a bar, it's ooh, something like that, ooh. And he couldn't get it, ooh, that's the one. Yeah. So when he'd do that, Leon said, no, no, that's not quite, the, that's not quite what I'm talking about. That, that's not quite what I'm <laughs> So he did that so long. So Scotty said, you know what? Scotty, tell him what you told You sing it, because I can't do it. I can't do it. He said, you, you know, know what you want, you sing it. Sing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the thing about Leon Silver, oh the meticulation that Nick is speaking of, back in those days, the younger musicians can relate. We didn't have what they had today. Um, some, I wish we did, because some of the stuff now that's so mechanical takes the human element completely out of it. You know, but so Leon, but his thing was time consuming. Yes. And it, it had nothing to do with me having a temper. He, anybody in this audience, if you sing, ah, a hundred times. <laughs> At some point, you're going to say, I ain't singing that no more. You know what I mean? It's just, and, and that's basically what happened. That, that, that's basically what took place. But the most, the most beautiful thing about it all, after it took us, how long to do this song? I mean, you know, what we all knew, this is the one thing about a hit record, starting with Aretha Franklin, Respect, these kind of records, if you notice, you only hear one of those. You never hear something to go back and top them. And the beat goes on. When we finish that song, you know, six years later, <laughs> you, know, you know, but we, we, knew, we knew immediately when we played the playback and everything was complete, we all knew that was going to be our first actually, number one record. Yeah, actually yeah. before that, because we, yeah. actually, we actually knew before he actually finished, oh. because when Scotty walked out the studio and told him, hey, you know what you want, you sing it. <laughs> He went out to the parking lot, getting ready to get in his car, and all four of us running behind him saying, Scotty, come back. you got to sing this song, and you got to finish this song. I said, man, this song is a bad song. you got to do this. We all brought him, drug him back to the, song, back yeah. to the studio, yeah. and he sung it another ah, ah, 100 times until he got it right. Exactly. And his song was made. Yeah. Biggest record we ever had. Oh, we ever had. The actual oh, biggest right. record of all the records in terms of selling. That's right. That is Rock the, the rock steady, yeah. all that, but and the B goes on. Yeah, it went double platinum, thanks to y'all. <laughs> thanks to y'all. Biggest record we ever had.